A lot of people think Dollar Tree is just junk, but here's the best Dollar Tree deals that you can find to make or save some money. Let's start off with the Halloween Day of the Dead stuff. We have some awesome rat skeletons, just toys, just plastic with some cool articulating parts. These are selling online on eBay for between six and $15, sometimes more in bundles. So in my opinion, these are a great item to have for your home decoration or to resell online. Not everything is good to resell, but I'd say these are for sure. People want these. It's the Halloween season. Next up, we got some more Halloween stuff. These are signs. They say beware, they say creepy. Man, I wish one said spoopy. That'd be pretty funny, but I guess not. We're going with the basic designs here. They are kind of cheap, uh, hollow injection molded, the hollow back, I guess you might call that. They're not filled in. I prefer the heavier, more sturdy ones. Not bad for a dollar, but I don't see these selling for any kind of sizable profit. There's just too many other options that, in my opinion, are better than these hollow back signs. Over to the candy section. If you are trying to save the most money on bulk candy, this is not your best option. But if you have two or three or five trick-or-treaters and you don't want to spend $15 on five pounds of candy, then you're just going to end up eating most of it over the next few months. Uh, I would recommend buying candy here. Certainly, uh, it's not a better deal per unit. But overall, if you can spend $3 on Halloween candy versus $15 in Halloween candy, you've saved a little bit of money. Not a huge amount. Uh, if you want to resell these, I would recommend putting them in a, a priority padded rate mailer or any sort of um, priority rate mailer. Uh, stuff them in there, see how many you can fit and sell them for like two bucks per $1 bag. But most likely your best bet on these, uh, the candy bags, is finding one and just using that as your Halloween candy and not buying a giant bulk bag that will just give you cavities and heart disease. When we're trying to find the value of Hot Wheels, a little hack I use is I go to eBay, I type in 2021 Hot Wheels out of 250. And that gives us uh, a general idea of what the Dollar Tree Hot Wheels cars are going for. We're seeing that the Cybertrucks sell for between seven and 10 bucks a piece, which is a pretty good return on your investment for Dollar Tree Hot Wheels. But most of the cars here uh, are not worth more than, they'll go maybe for, you know, 250 plus shipping, which is not really worth buying in my opinion. Uh, I did find two cars that I think I can get like five to 10 bucks for. I bought them because I like doing this, but really uh, as an investment, you're focusing more on finding like the chase cars, the rare cars. I found a Hot Wheels ID that sells for 20 bucks. These two here, this Jeep Gladiator and the Space Jam car, they're more generic. I like them. I'll get five to 10 bucks for them a piece, uh, but they're not great. This one's a little bit different. It's not the kind of thing you can resell online, but I still think it's a great deal. Maybe if you are at a Little League baseball game or you do concessions for a high school football team, this is the kind of thing you can make money on because it's 10 packets of cookies for a dollar. A dime a piece, no tax here in Michigan. You can sell those easily for a, a profit in a local setting. I wouldn't do it online, but this is a great deal. Uh, not a commonly seen Dollar Tree product, at least not in my area. So I'd say if you see these and you want to sell them at a garage sale, at a Little League baseball game, at a Pop Warner football team, or just to have yourself for your kids, your nephews, warehouse snacks like I have, I'd say buy them. Here's something that you're going to see for $9 to $15 online, like 9 bucks at Ace Hardware or Home Depot if you go pick it up, or 15 bucks online. It is Rust-Oleum or Rust-Oleum Heel Coat Red Mat. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this on Facebook locally. I don't want to deal with shipping this. For these kind of things, it's okay to ship uh, with USPS, but they are a bit heavy and I don't want to deal with them getting punctured or leaking. So what I'll do is I'll just sell locally and I'll make probably about five to $7 per can. I'm always talking about coloring books and kids books because Dollar Tree has a very good selection of both of those. This is a Space Jam activity book. There's a Hot Wheel activity book. There's a Scooby-Doo activity book. The issue with those is they can't be shipped media mail. That's in some cases a cheaper option. All this stuff 
uh, that's a coloring book has to go first class mail. What can go media mail are these learning books. Now I bought two of these, the level one learning books. I will bundle them together with media mail. You're paying probably $3.09 up to about $3.49 in shipping. So I'll bundle these. I'll sell them for 10 bucks a piece. This is the kind of thing I would not worry about buying a lot of. It's not gonna expire like some food will. And kids are always gonna have to learn to read. If you're like me, you've got five or seven half used rolls of wrapping paper that you bought for one gift. You paid $7 for it at the grocery store and you feel like an idiot because you could have spent $1 at the Dollar Tree to buy pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's not as much wrapping paper, but for me, I'm not giving out a lot of gifts every year. Uh, if you have kids or you have a big family, probably not the best thing for you, but if you're someone just trying to get paper for one gift or for, you know, three gifts, go to Dollar Tree, spend $1. They've got seasonal stuff, uh, birthday stuff, newborn baby stuff, uh, a wide variety, much like their wide variety of plastic food containers. Here is a two pack of Rubbermaid, great for keeping your food mmm tasty after a long respite in the refrigerator. If you're like me, meal prepping is a pain in the butt, but having stuff like this, easy containers for if you lose one, you step on one, you sit on one, perfect to have around the house. Now, I've sold these for five to eight dollars for a two pack, some profit there, but on Amazon, I have heard of people having issues reselling Rubbermaid the brand. So I'm not gonna advise this, I'm just gonna say, yeah, the value is there. If you can find a way to sell it, go for it, but if not, just good to have around the house. I'm sure most of you are aware of my infatuation with Dollar Tree meats. We've got, we've got some meats here, baby. We've got pork chops. This right here is a pork loin chop. We've got our pork loin riblets all frozen. And then we have wild salmon with the skin. Now I didn't buy any of this, but I want to know, do you want to see videos where I cook Dollar Tree food? How about where I try Dollar Tree drinks? I find some really interesting stuff here. A lot of the beverages here are just smaller versions of bigger you know bigger brands basically so like you've got your rockstar zero calorie one dollar can it's usually three bucks at the store these rippets that's a, a typical dollar store item uh i bought one of these just to have i was getting kind of tired whatever it's you know not a bad deal this did catch my eye martinelli's apple grape in the champagne bottle this is real glass you don't see a lot of real glass at the dollar store so i bought that too I have a confession to make about three or four years ago I lived across the street from a Dollar Tree down the street whatever pretty close and I'd go here on the weekends with five dollars and I'd buy my snacks for the weekend for the football games for whatever I was doing why did I do that because if I went to Kroger I'd spend twenty five dollars eat 18 million calories and just like the diabetes would be palpable in my system so I'd go to the Dollar Tree and I'd buy the stuff and I'd, I'd eat I'd, I'd limit myself I wouldn't binge uh, as far as resale value goes the moon pies six packs you can sell those everything else there's no name brand to carry it on marketplaces so you can't sell Mrs. Freshly's no one's ever heard of that and my sincerest apologies to all the Miss Freshly fanatics out there I know there must be dozens of you. To figure out the value on these Disney mini figurines, we have to do a little bit of eBay searching. So we see right here, when I type in Disney figurines, we get some stuff that's out of our price range, but some stuff that does actually make sense, like these Disney collector pack series uh, holiday figurines. These right here could be at Dollar Tree. Uh, we scroll down, a lot of six vintage Winnie the Pooh PVC uh, figures cake toppers. So a lot of the times, things like this, they're being used as cake toppers or for art projects. That's something to consider when doing Dollar Tree retail arbitrage. The things you sell are not always gonna be used what they're marketed for. Other than that, just typical dollar store, retail arbitrage, you know, value advice. Look for branded stuff. We've got the Avengers paddle toys. There was some Spider-Man stuff. There's Minnie Mouse. Those are all gonna be good value buys. Another thing that I think is a great value and gets kind of ignored by a lot of people is the seasonal stuff at Dollar Tree, uh, not only for resale, but again, as just a value buy. So a lot of this stuff, the issue you're gonna run into with reselling it is it's kind of too large or weighs too much to sell for a decent profit. Now, of course, bundling things up, 
let's say we have a bundle of uh, the four styles of salt and pepper shaker that they sell here. That could be a good opportunity. Let's say we have a few of these football pumpkin decor themed things and you pair them with uh, you know napkins and plates. That could be a good bundle to resell, but for the most part, I think we are gonna save money, uh, and that's almost as good as making money, is buying the quick, easy, seasonal stuff at Dollar Trees just like this. And I've heard that my Dollar Tree has a better selection. What do you think? Is your Dollar Tree like this? Do you have cool Day of the Dead front door signs? Uh, do you have cool, kind of luminescent, rest in peace, tombstones these were all very light very flimsy but still i think if you're on a budget or you're in a college dorm or you're moving or you're in a small apartment these are all great ways to make your holiday season a bit more festive without breaking the bank you know thanks a lot for watching really appreciate this and i hope you like videos just like this if you do give it a big thumbs up and comment below with what you want to see me do next here's my bag i do buy all this stuff i am an avid dollar tree shopper and i appreciate every single one of the viewers out there who click the thumbs up and let me know what they're thinking i'll see you guys later